planets we will see how to solve a problem in which a body is sliding over a rough inclined plane so in this question a body of mass 50 kg slides down a rough inclined plane whose inclination is 30 degree 30 degree if the coefficient of friction is 0 0.4 that is between the block and the inclined plane find the acceleration of the body so we have to find what is the acceleration so we will draw a figure according to the given data so i will draw a plane i will be drawing a free body diagram directly a plane on this inclined plane this is 30 degree okay its weight is and we have to draw the force first acting on the body so the weight is acting through the center of gravity or vertical to the or perpendicular to this line this horizontal line and there will be force of friction or or we'll draw the normal reaction r n this is uh, 50 into 9.81 because m uh, w is equal to m into g or it will be 490.5 will be the weight 490.5 newton will be the weight normal reaction will be rn and as this body is moving down with an acceleration of a parallel to the plane the force of friction will be in this direction say fk fk will be upwards okay now as this force that is a weight is acting at an angle to the plane on which the body is resting we resolve E inclined plane ne perpendicular to the well that way. Forcing in acting no. What about? Is parallel components? Is vertical components? Okay. So. This is the parallel component and this is the vertical component. So, how, what will be the values of the parallel and the vertical per perpendicular components? So, this is 30 degree. What will be this angle? This will also, this will be 60 degree because this is 90 degree. This is 60 degree. Okay. So, from the geometry, this angle will be 30 degree this angle will be 30 degree why if you complete or extend this this angle is 60 degree so as this angle is 30 degree this will be 60 because 
this angle is 90 degrees. So, in this right angle triangle, this angle is 30 degree, this angle is 90 degree, therefore this will be 60 degree. Obviously, this angle will be, will also be 60 because it is the opposite angles, opposite angles. So, this also will be 60 degree. Therefore, this angle will be 30. You can see this angle will be 30 and hence the horizontal or, or the uh, component which is parallel to the plane will be the sine component of this angle, sine component, sine component of this board. So, it is 490.5 sin 30. So, obviously, the vertical component will be 490.5 cos 30. 490.5 cos 30. Okay. So, these are the forces per parallel and perpendicular to the plane. Now, to solve the problem, consider forces perpendicular to the plane first. Forces perpendicular to the plane. Which are the forces perpendicular to the plane? Rn. That is here. Rn is there. So, Rn is in the upward direction. Let it be positive. Rn minus 490.5 cos 30. That is downward direction or perpendicular to the plane in the downward direction. And it is equal to 0. Why is it equal to 0? Because there is no motion perpendicular to the plane. In this direction, there is no motion. So, it is in equilibrium. So, we can apply static equilibrium equation sigma v equal to 0. So corresponding to that, we can apply or write Rn minus 490.5 cos 30 equal to 0. So, this will give you Rn equal to 424.78 Newton. So, the normal reaction is 424.78 Newton. Okay. Now, consider the forces parallel to the plane. Consider the forces parallel to the plane. Which are the forces parallel to the plane? 490.5 sin 30 and frictional force. Fk is equal to mu k, mu k into Rn. So, 490.5 sin 30 minus Fk is mu k into Rn. It is equal to, it is not equal to 0, but it, it is equal to m into a m into a because it is moving in this direction it has an acceleration so there is a net force so it should be equal to ma net force is equal to ma so from newton's second law we have to apply here here we will apply equilibrium equation okay so 490.5 sin 30 minus mu k into rn is equal to ma so that will give you 490.5 sin 30 minus 0.4 into 424.h equal to m is 50 into a into a so in this equation only one unknown is a therefore solving that equation you will get a is equal to 1.5 meter per second square so that is the acceleration of the body which is sliding down the plane with the equation of friction 0 0.4 and the value of acceleration we got it as 1.5 meter per second square. So, this is how we apply